Hey y'all, it's me Serena and I am back with part two of packing my carry-on for air travel. Um, I did another video of how I condensed all my liquid toiletries and makeup items into this quart size um, TSA approved bag for travel. So I will link that somewhere in here if you haven't seen that. But here I'm gonna do the rest of my carry-on. And this is the first time I'm gonna be using this particular carry-on bag. It actually belongs to my husband. It's not the most stylish thing because you know, it's a man's and it's black. It's just a little duffel bag, but it has a lot of nice little pockets on the outside and inside. And um, it's just a good size, you know, to fit either under the seat or above. So, um, the one that I've been carrying with me, I've noticed the past couple of times I've been on a plane, it's just too big, especially going down the aisle. I just don't like it. So I'm gonna use his since he's not going on this trip. Um, I'm stealing his. So, okay, let's get started with what I am packing. So you saw me do my liquids. So I will get to these in a minute with how I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put those. Um, for the rest of my toiletries that are not liquids and that don't have to go in that bag, I have this little case. I picked this up a few years ago at Target, and it's actually kind of big. I really don't need one this big, but I just like the way this is made, and it fits down in the bottom of this duffel bag real nicely, so um, I'm just going to go with it. But um, when you open it up, it's got a zipper compartment over here, and this has got my non-liquid makeup items, and it's got some of my bigger brushes and my blush, my bronzer, my Tarte palette. I don't travel with a lot of makeup because there's just no need. And But one thing, another thing I like about this Tarte palette is it gives you a mirror. So if you need a mirror, you know, to hold up to the hotel mirror and check the back of your hair or something like that, you've got one in here that's plenty big. So that's another good thing about that palette. But yeah, I've got my beauty blender. Instead of loose powder, um, I use this Maybelline Fit Me powder and it comes in pressed form too. So that's great for travel. And then um, on this side, this, this is actually a little brush holder, but it's not designed in the best way because none of these um, little compartments are big enough to hold brushes that have fat handles. So that's why I've got some over here. But anyway, the other ones that will fit in here are over here and my tweezers. And then that little flap comes down over the top of them. Then on the back of this, you've got a zipper section and I don't even have anything in it except a couple of bobby pins. And then on this side, it's another zipper compartment. I've got my deodorant, some, um, a little pack of clear hair ties, uh, lip balm, a little pencil sharpener that I'll use for like a, my lip pencil or whatever. Um, I've got my bar soap that I use to wash my face and a little baggie inside there. I've got my um, stick as solid SPF for my face and whatever. I'll stick that in there. And then, um, and then also I've got a separate little bag here. This little bag of tricks has got several different things in it. I just keep it in here to keep it separate and clean. I've got a little case with earplugs cause you never know when it might be loud and you need to, in a hotel, you need to sleep, plug up your ears. Um, I've got some dental floss and some floss picks. I've got my, um, Q-tips and cotton rounds in here. I've got all my little um, Olay daily facial cloths in here. So all that cotton stuff that I wanna keep clean, I just put in here and that keeps it from getting messed up. And then I also have a couple of little um, makeup remover wipes. I've, I've just picked these up along the way somewhere at a hotel and I just keep them in there in case I need them. So that can go in there. And what else can I put in here? I can probably stick my, this is my little travel razor. This is the razor that I use at home, the Venus, but it's the travel version of it. And it's just a little tiny thing and it has its own case. Um, so I can put that in there. 
and let's zip that up because then we're going to put this in the bottom of this duffel bag and it fits in there really nicely. Just lays flat in there. All right, so what else am I going to take on in my carry-on bag? Well, I'm not taking a hair dryer. I'll use whatever is in the room. Um, but I do need a um, thing to do, you know, smooth out my hair with or curl it with or whatever I'm going to do. And so this little dealio is called the La Duo. It's by Lange. And, um, well, I'll just go ahead and show you. It's all twisted up with a cord. But it's a straightener and a curling wand in one. If you open it up, it's got the flat plates in there so you can just pull your hair down with that and use it as a straightening iron. Or you can put your hair in and twist it around this curved barrel. It has a function on here where you hit the button and a fan comes on and it blows air out through these holes. And so if you're twist, this, that's what I use when I curl my hair, um, is this. So you can twist your hair in this and the heat comes out through the, these little holes and it will curl your hair. So this is a two-in-one deal. So it makes it perfect for travel. So definitely taking this because it will do whatever I need to do. So there's my curling thing. Um, I just use one big round brush and then I have a comb and a pick and I'll put, stick those down in here. I don't put them in separate bags. I just stick them in here. Um, something else that's important is prescription medicine. Oh, there's my medicine that goes in there. Um, this stuff, this, you know, the powder stuff that you can sprinkle in your hair for added volume. Um, that's what this is, but instead of it coming out like in a powder form, it actually, you press this down and a little poof of powder comes out. It's called, it's by Amica. It's called Vandal. So this is not anything that needs to be in, in my quart bag because it's a powder. So that can go in there with my other hair stuff. And let's see what else. Let me consult my list. Let's see. Bar soap I got. My Olay cloths, the tarp palette, bronzer blush powder, chapstick brushes, my beauty blender, all that is in there. My toothbrush is not in there, but it will be. My earplugs are, hairbrush, comb, pick, ponytail holders, some little clips, that's all in there. My deodorant, tweezers, that's all in that makeup bag. My RX medicines are in this Ziploc bag, my fiber gummies. Okay, here's another thing I always take when I travel. I get a travel size of these little Cottonelle wipes just because you may need them and those are not going to be in your hotel. So I get a little pack of those and take them. Um, panty liners, you know, that and any other feminine products you need, that's in there. Um, my other medicine, the things I always take with me is Aleve for pain, Benad um, Zyrtec because I take a Zyrtec every day, and then Benadryl in case one of us has some kind of allergic reaction to something and we need Benadryl right away. Um, so those are the three things that I always have. And then uh, Band-Aids. So I want to show you this cute little, this is a Louis, it's not Louis Vuitton, it's a dupe. I bought this a few years ago on um, Amazon. The brand is um, Daisy Rose. If I can find this still, I'll, I'll link it down below. But um, it's actually a little bit larger than, um, than the little key pouch that Louis Vuitton makes, which is good because it holds more. So you can see how tiny this little thing is, but let me show you what all is in here. So first, this is a little pill case, and this is where I keep the Aleve, Benadryl, and Zyrtec. It's divided up into three sections. And so that's enough for me and Macy for this whole trip. Probably more than enough. We won't even take all this, but anyway, it's a tiny little thing and it fits in here. And I'm probably gonna put this in my purse, actually, or my personal item, which for women is a purse. Cause you get a carry on and a personal item. So for my personal item, I will always use the biggest one that I have, which will be this one. I'll get to that in a minute. But in here, so, so I have those medicines in here. I also have 
a few Sudafeds just in case we need that. I also have, let's see, this is some gas medicine. Um, I have some sweetener. I always use Splenda, so I have several packets of Splenda in here because I get unsweet tea and I have to have Splenda and some places don't have it, so I've got my own. Um, I have several Band-Aids in here, a bunch of Band-Aids. Um, I have also, these are a couple of the little Purell wipes sealed up from Chick-fil-A. So, those are in here too, even though I have a larger pack of disinfecting wipes. I still have those in there. So, my little wipes, Band-Aids, my Splenda, gas medicine, Sudafed. Stick those back down in here. And my little pill case with the other stuff. And there it is. And you can see it's not, I mean, it's close enough, but it's not a real Louis Vuitton. This is, this is not. But I will throw this in here. And another thing I always carry with me is the Wet Ones Disinfecting Wipes, the packs. I love these. They're not liquid, so you don't have to worry about them being part of your quart bag since they're wipes. And I like the wipes because I just feel like you get your hands clean. Sometimes with hand sanitizer, I feel like you're just smearing stuff around on your hands, and I like the wipes better anyway. So the wipes will go in my personal item. Um, try, another thing that I would put in my carry-on um, would be jewelry, but I will tell you guys, I do not travel with a bunch of jewelry. I just don't. I unfortunately have um, left things in hotel rooms before and had them disappear, and I lost a couple of things that were very dear to me that way one time, and so I just will not do it. If I'm not wearing it, nothing stays in the room that I care about. So, um, I will wear my rings because I will wear those every day. My watch I'll have on. Um, I've got on some fake diamond studs. That's what I'll wear to travel. This is all I will wear, and this is what I will wear every day. I'm not taking a bunch of jewelry. One thing that I will take, though, just in case, you know, we go out to dinner at night and I want something to jazz up my outfit a little bit, I am going to take my little box full of the fun earrings that I got off Amazon a few weeks ago. I'll link this down below again. And this comes in its own box, so that can go right in there. Um, let's see what else. My bag of liquids. Let's see. I'll probably, just for ease of getting it out... I may just put it in here and then after we go through security and it's been scanned and whatever, then I'll take it out and I'll put it in my carry-on and I can put it away. But for just for ease of getting to it, I'll probably leave it in here until we get through security. Now, speaking of, um, you know, your personal item. I will have my sunglasses and regular glasses case in here. I've got my um, my little pouch of tricks in here with medicines that we may need. I've got Tic Tacs. I've got, you know, pens. I'll probably, I'm, I'm debating on whether or not to take my laptop, but if I do, it has a little case I can put it in and then I can put it down in here and it does fit. Or I could put it in here. It looks like I'm going to have plenty of room in here. Another thing I'm going to do, um, this is one of the little purses that I got um, up at the outlets in Pigeon Forge. Got this at Tory Burch. This is just a cute little purse for if we do go out at night. Uh, and I'm sure we will. We'll go to Disney Springs to shop and eat and whatever. And I, I won't... I won't really want to carry this big purse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this as my wallet because it's got the slots in here for my cards and I'm not taking every card under the sun. I'm just taking the ones that I absolutely need. And this will fit right down inside here. So it can just go down inside there and um, that way I have a little bit dressier purse. Um, if I don't want to carry this big tote bag, 
and it doubles as the wallet when I do have this tote bag. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what else. Let me go over the last thing um, as far as travel. And that is this purse. Let me talk about this travel purse. And um, this purse is one that I bought a few years ago before our last trip to Disney. Um, I wanted something that was going to be sturdy and that I could throw around, you know, when we were on rides or whatever and not, not have to be careful with it. So I didn't want leather. I didn't want um, anything that I was going to be concerned about. This is like a really thick it's fabric, but it's really thick and durable. And I can't remember, because it's been a while since I bought it, but it may be slash proof. You know how you can buy slash proof purses for travel? It may be slash proof, but I can't remember. I got this from a website called eBags, and I think it's an eBags brand purse. It wasn't that expensive, but it is the most functional purse you've ever seen. And now you're not gonna win any, any prizes for style with this purse, okay? But it is incredibly functional and it comes in different colors. I got the gray just because I've got so much black already and it's got a real thick webbing um, strap so it's very comfortable on your shoulder or as a crossbody and it's adjustable. And But let me show you how I pack this thing up. Not, not completely, but just let me kind of show you what all this purse will do. First of all, you can expand it. It's got a zipper across the bottom and I've got it expanded right now but you see that you can zip it up and make it not so thick but I've got it fully expanded um, first of all on the back there's a little slip for your phone which I love because it keeps it secure but it's readily accessible right there and on the back it's got this pouch that opens up really big and that's the side that would be against you and um, I have a poncho. I got one for me and one for Macy because as you know, there's always a chance of rain in Florida, especially in Orlando. So um, we will have our ponchos with us in case it starts raining. And look, that just fits in there beautifully. Fits in that back section. You don't even know it's in there. Um, and the purse is lightweight, so it's only really gonna weigh as much as how much you put into it. Okay, so that was the back pouch. I put the poncho in there. And then it has one, let's see, this big metal pouch even has another zipper inside. It's got so many compartments, it's just crazy. So there's a zipper compartment in there. That's probably where I'll put my lip balm or lip gloss or whatever I have. Any other large items, like I will carry a pack of these wet ones and then I'll put those down in there inside that section. I don't need a wallet and you'll see why. So that, that's the middle main compartment right there. Then right here, the next zipper on the front, this is your wallet. And now this purse is RFID protected. So that means it's got whatever technology in this fabric that keeps people from being able to steal your card info uh, when you're carrying it around. So it's got several several card slots they are right here. So I will put my card, I'll probably just take one card to the park and, um, and then whatever cash can go just down in the bottom of that if I've got any cash at all. Or I might put it in this zipper pouch back here of, the, of this pocket, who knows. But anyway, that's where I can put my cards. I can put my room key, I can put my driver's license and whatever in that section. So you don't have to worry about a separate wallet, which is nice because that doesn't add any weight. You just got your cards in there. And then on the very front section, if you open it up and look, there are two little pouches for glasses. And the nice thing is this one is lined with like a fuzzy fabric so it doesn't scratch up your glasses. So usually, um, when we're at the park, I've got my sunglasses on, but if we go inside or we're on a, a ride that's inside, I can take take them off and slip them in there. And then I can also have my regular glasses there too in the, in the other little pouch 
um, for when we're in a restaurant or something and I need to get my readers out to read a menu. And so those are in that very front pocket, um, which is great. I just love that because being a two, <laughs> two glasses wear, um, it can get cumbersome sometimes, but this bag accounts for, you know, sunglasses and regular glasses. So that's there. I got my wallet section. Still got all kinds of room in this middle section where I put that pow packet of wet wipes. I've got my, got my poncho in the back. I'll have my phone right there. I can put, oh, I'll tell you something else I'll put in here. That stick SPF, I'll put that down in here so that if we need to reapply during the day, we've got that stick with us. And so, yeah, this is just a great bag and it's not heavy, it's comfortable to wear, it lays flat against your body really nicely. And so this is my outdoorsy slash amusement park bag. Whenever we go somewhere like that, this is the bag I carry. So I hope those tips helped you a little bit. And let's see, let's look at my overnight bag or my carry-on bag. It's a little bit heavy, but not too bad. And really the only other thing that I might put in here, well, I'll use these little zipper pockets on the ends and on the front to put my chargers in, I'll put my phone charger, my watch charger, and if I take my laptop, I'll put um, my laptop cord in there. So that will be good things to put in these exterior pockets. And um, so yeah, that will be my carry-on and I'll pack this purse away, either in my carry-on or my regular suitcase. And then this will be my personal item or purse for, for the day for, for uh, flying down. And then um, it has this little purse in it that will be acting as a wallet um, while I'm carrying the big purse. So those are all my bags for the trip. Tote bag, park bag, and a cute little crossbody bag. That's all my bags. So. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't consider, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> please consider hitting that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate you. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you liked or, or any comments you have about this video. And if I can find this, um, I will link it below and that set of earrings on Amazon. I will link it below as well. So thank you for watching and until I see you next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.